review on VirtualBox, Oracle VirtualBox. This is uh, CCMP virtual machine. Go to settings and on network. Uh, this is the bridge adapter to connect my real network, but change to uh, generic driver and UDP tunnel. Um, be sure the cable is connected. Okay, on advanced cable connected. And uh, okay. Go to settings again and review USB ports. Maybe you need to copy some files and, and enable USB 2.0 or 3.0. I recommend 3.0 and okay. Okay, and close this and go to GNS3. Cancel. Okay, very good. And and go and browse and devices. New appliance template here. Add virtual box, virtual machine. Okay. Run this VirtualBox virtual machine on my local computer. Uh, CCMP virtual machine. Select this. Finish. And now you have the virtual machine included. One adapter, Ethernet zero. Apply. Okay. Use NetMeco FIDO module to configure a router. Use this topology. The PC is the CCMP virtual machine. Use a switch and a router. This is the router IP address on gigabit 001, 182.168.11 and subnet mask. And PC using DHCP, so R1 will be the DHCP server. Required resources on real lab, one router, Cisco 4221. One switch, but it's optional. Any switch available, okay? Switch is optional. And you can connect directly PC to router. And do not use a switch if you want. One PC, CCMP virtual machine, Ethernet cables, build the network and verify connectivity. Cable the network. Okay. and choose a router. In my case, I will use, uh, in my case, I will choose 7200 router with iOS 15.0. R1, uh, and devices, CCMP virtual machine, and connect from router gigabit 1.0. I don't have gigabit 001 on this router, I have gigabit one zero and connect to Ethernet interface on CCMP virtual machine. Okay, and start the router, start. Okay, and start the virtual machine. Okay. 
ready. Start the CCMP virtual machine. Very good. Open virtual box, start CCMP virtual machine, enter password. Remember the password is student pass capital S capital P and ready. Okay, and on R1, console into R1 and apply the following configuration to configure basic settings and enable netconf, restconf, and SSH. Okay, and this is the host name, R1, no IP, domain lookup, line console, login synchronous, exit timeout zero, minute zero seconds, login synchronous, and line BTY from zero to 15, exit timeout, login synchronous, login local, transport input SSH, only permit SSH on line BTY, A domain, the crypto key, for SSH, a username is Cisco privilege 15, the maximum privilege and password Cisco 1234 and this character. Okay, and for SSH access, you will use this username Cisco and this password Cisco 123 character. And configure interface gigabit 001 with an IP address 192.168.11 subnet mask 24. Enable the interface and exclude uh, a range of IP addresses and create the pool to configure the DHCP server because R1 will be the DHCP server. Okay, and copy this to a notepad. Okay. And in my case, modify this interface gigabit one zero one zero. My interface is gigabit one zero in my case. Okay, this interface is gigabit one zero. Double click on R one. And you don't need enable command, copy from configure terminal because uh, I am on privilege exit mode. Copy all this from configure terminal to the end, copy and right click to paste. And wait a moment. Enter. Enter. Very nice. Review. Configure terminal, hostname, no IP domain lookup, line console, line BTY, uh, domain, crypto key generated, username, gigabit one zero. No, no problems. Very good. Okay, okay. Okay, all very good. Uh, copy run to start. Enter, enter, enter. And building configuration. Okay. Verify CCMP virtual machine can pick the default gateway. Okay, ready. Use IP address. Verify your IP address and ping router and it should be successful okay success very good and and go to ccmp virtual machine and review uh, the wired connection wired settings okay uh, wired uh, be sure is on Okay, be sure it's on and go to settings. And uh, IPv4 should be an automatic, DNS automatic, routes automatic. Apply and close this and verify. And go to terminal. And 
IP address to verify. Okay, I have this IP address 182.168.165. So that must 24. Okay, and ping the router. Okay. okay. The router IP address is 182.168.11. Ping to 192.168.11. Success. Okay, control C to stop. Okay, and from router, and from router also you can pick the CCMP virtual machine, 182.168.165. Success. Very good. Establish SSH connection. Use PUDI. And enter the IP address of the router 192.168.11. Open. You should be able to log in R1, username Cisco, password Cisco123, and this character. And terminate your SSH session. Okay, go to CCMP Virtual Machine, PUDI, select PUDI. Uh, 192.168.11, port 22, open, accept, Cisco, enter, password Cisco123, and the character, enter. Now you are on R1. Okay, very good. Show running config, space, space, very good. Okay, and terminate, exit, import NetMiko final module. You will install the NetMiko module into your FIDO environment. NetMiko uses an SSH connection to access network devices. It has built in functionality to execute verification commands and apply new commands to the running configuration. In CCMP virtual machine, start IDLE and verify that NetMiko is installed by importing as shown. Okay, on virtual machine, import NetMiko. Terminal. Okay, and five on three, enter. Okay, five on three, six, nine. Okay, five on three, six, nine. Okay, and import NetMiko. Import NetMiko. Enter. Use NetMiko to connect the SSH service. You will use NetMiko to connect the SSH service running on R1. Create a new script file. Okay, and ideally, open the ideally. Is this ideally? File new and save the file as netmiko script dash script. Okay, file new. Save as netmiko dash script. Okay, this Python file, save. K 
create a variable with the SSH attributes. The NetMiko module includes the connect handler function. This function requires the following parameters for establishing an SSH connection with the iOS XE device. The device type identifies the remote device type, host, the address host or IP of the remote device, port, the remote port for the SSH service, username, remote SSH username, password, remote SSH password. NetMiko dash script import NetMiko's connect handler function. Okay, and use this uh, from NetMiko import connect handler. Okay, on the script from NetMiko import connect handler. Enter the following information for the connect handler function. The variable SSH CLI and connect handler. The device is a Cisco IOS. The host, the IP address of the router, the port 22 for SSH, the username is Cisco and password Cisco123 and character. Enter, enter SSH CLI. Connect handler. Okay. And Device underscore type equal Cisco underscore iOS comma host when I two one sixty eight one one comma port twenty two comma username. Cisco, comma, and password. This password, Cisco123 character. Save the script and run it. You will see the following output if your script did not have an error. Start home student NetMiko script. Uh, this prompt. Okay. Wrong. Okay. Wrong module. Source must be saved. Okay. And very good. Start home student net micro script that five and the prompt not problem use netmiko to send a verification command you will use uh, your python script to send verification commands to router r1 use netmiko function send command to send command through the ssh connection set a variable to hold the output of the show command you are sending Use the send command function of the SSH CLI object, which is the SSH session previously established, to send the desired command. We, in this case, we are sending show IP interface brief. Notice that the command does not have to be the full command. It can be any command that the iOS CLI would accept. Okay. Use this. Okay, and on the script, here on the script, enter output equal 
ssh cli that send underscore command show ip interface brief run the program you will see the following output if your script did not have any error okay wrong wrong module save okay and very good okay wait a moment and the prompt print and format the content of the output variable the returned content from the function is stored in the output variable in the interactive interpreter, enter the output to see the content of the variable as shown in the following. Okay, output to see the contents. Output, enter. And now you will see the information. Gigabit uh, 10, 192.168.11. Okay. Gigabit 10, 182, status of protocol log. The content of the output variable can be made readable with the format option of the print command. Also, this is used here to add a blank line after the output is printed. Okay, use this. that format output variable okay if you don't have these characters and uh, you need to verify the okay here on settings verify the region and language and input sources select your keyboard here uh, click and add and select your your keyboard okay you can open a terminal a new terminal a new terminal and do the following uh, man ASCII and you can copy and paste these characters okay these characters Okay, very good. Okay, that's it. Run your program and now you should get the following results. Okay, uh, run module. Okay. Wait a moment. And very good. Okay, and very good. Okay, look at the difference between previous without format and with format. Okay, very good. Use NetMiko to send and verify configuration. You will send configuration commands to create new loopback interface on R1 and then verify that the interface was created.
create and send a list of configuration commands to R1. Add the following config commands list variable to your NetMiko script. If multiple students are accessing R1 at the same time, use the loopback assigned to you by your instructor. Otherwise, you can use loopback1 as shown below. Replace a student name with your name. Leave the backslash in the description command. The backslash escapes the apostrophe so that Python does not read it as a closing quote, but as an apostrophe. Okay. Leave this backslash. Okay. The variable config commands the interface loopback one. IP address, subnet mask, and description. Okay, uh, the script enter uh, config underscore commands equal apostrophe. Uh, interface loop back one comma IP others ten one 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 on subnet mask ten one 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 subnet mask uh, don't forget comma description okay um, backslash look back Create a new variable, call it send config to hold the results. Then use the send config set function of the SSH CLI object to send the command to R1. Okay, send config. This variable and use the send config set. Enter set config equal ssh cli dot send underscore config underscore set and send this variable config commands config underscore commands Print and format the content of the send config variable. Okay, and use print function to format and display what is stored in send config. Okay, use this print to view the contents of send config. Then resend the send command function and repeat print function for the output variable. So you can see the new loopback interface in the show IP interface brief output. And the output is this uh, function, SSH, this uh, send command, show IP interface brief, and print the output. Okay, copy this uh, and paste here, but show send config. Okay, enter, enter, and repeat this. Very good. Save and run your programs. You should get output similar to the following. Show IP interface brief output, and no loopback. The configuration 
and finally show IP interface brief output with the loopback interface. Okay, wrong, wrong module, save, okay. And wait a moment. Okay, show IP interface brief output, no loopback interface, the configuration of loopback interface and show IP interface brief output with loopback interface. Use NetMiko to send an erroneous command. NetMiko works similarly to copying and pasting a configuration script into the router CLI, command line interface. Therefore, like when you paste a script in, NetMiko will execute every command that it can. If a command fails, it will continue with the next command. Other automation tools typically will not apply any configuration changes if one or more commands are rejected. You will see NetMiko to configure a new loopback address with a duplicate IPv4 address. Create a new loopback interface with the same IPv4 address. Copy the config commands variable to the bottom of your NetMiko script and modify it to store a new loopback interface that uses the same IPv4 address as the previous loopback interface. If multiple students are accessing R1, at the same time, add one to the number of the loopback assigned to you by your instructor. Otherwise, you can use loopback2 as shown below. Okay, use this, config commands. Okay, go to the script and copy these config commands. Copy, enter, uh, paste. But now modify interface loopback number two. Use the same IP address and subnet mask and same description. Print and format the content of the send config and output variables. Send the commands and print the output like you did for the first loopback interface. Okay, send the configuration of loopback number two and print, then send the show IP interface brief and print. Okay, and copy this. Okay. Send this configuration, print, and send show IP interface brief, then print. Save and run your program. You should get output similar to the output below. Notice that the new loopback interface was configured. However, IPv4 address duplicated the previous loopback interface. Okay. Wrong, wrong module, save, okay. And wait a moment. Okay, first uh, show, show IP interface brief. You can see loopback one. Uh, configure loopback one again, okay, uh, overwrite all, not problem. Show IP interface brief, you can see the loopback one. Okay, and now configure interface loopback number two, IP address 10111, subnet mask, 
and 1011 overlaps with loopback one, okay, overlaps with this. Okay, and description and and now loopback two is created, but uh, it doesn't have an IP address because the IP address overlaps with loopback one. It's not accepted. But the next command was accepted. So loopback two is created without IP address. Modify the program, use it in this lab. The following is the complete program using in this lab. Practice your fighting skills by modifying the program to send different verifications and configuration commands. All this program, okay? And go to file and save us another name, save us next Miko script dash two save and uh, from NetMiko import connect handler the SSH connection. Okay, you can send uh, show running config show running config print the output and in config commands create loopback number three and use another IP address a different IP address uh, send uh, config commands send this print the output and finally verify with show running config and print the output no more okay very good and run module save okay wait a moment Okay, home uh, netmiko script 2, 196 lines, click here, double click, and you can see the running configuration with DHCP, loopback 1, loopback 2, gigabit 1.0, and configure loopback 3 and click here double click and now you can see now loopback 3 was created very good thank you very much